Hey y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a sneak peek at this project I am in the middle of. And of course, when I've already gotten all nasty is when I wanna get this finished so that you guys can see. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I did wanna get y'all in on it. So let me turn it around so you can see kind of what's going on. This is the first pumpkin that I did with the paint. So you can kind of see that um, I took it and have marbleized it and I have made it blue and gold. I'm outside because I'm quite messy, but I want you to see the different marbleized colors. It's totally wet, y'all. It is not dried yet, but I want to show y'all real quick how you can do this. So remember those pumpkins I got yesterday at Hobby Lobby. That is what I'm using here. Y'all, and I was supposed to put them up on uh, toothpicks and it's not, not liking me. I'm gonna go ahead and let that just set down. There we go. And I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see this pumpkin I'm gonna do. So you just take your Hobby Lobby pumpkin, just any orange pumpkin that you want, Walmart, is fine too. Take off the tag. Hey Gayla, I miss you my friend. And then you are going to take toothpicks. So I just have toothpicks here or you can use nails, whatever's easy. And you're going to put those in the bottom. And this is gonna be what it stands on. That's three. I know I brought out four, y'all. Of course, I can't find, oh, here it is, four. And just wherever you can get them is fine, but this is gonna be the base. And this is just those tin foil uh, pan casserole dish covers. You could use an actual dish, would probably be better, um, the casserole size ones, because this is gonna catch the paint, y'all. see if I can get it to stand. Okay, so it's standing up. So then I'm just taking um, whatever color paints you want, and these are just acrylic paints, nothing fancy, nothing special. And I'm just gonna pour them in here. So my darker color, or the one I want to be the, the most prevalent on the project, um, I'm gonna put in um, first. And then the accent color, which this is a really pretty gold, y'all. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, pretty gold. Hold on, let me get this light on it. I don't know, can y'all see that? I had to do this outside, y'all, because it's really messy. So, we um, are going to take the gold and put it kind of just on top, on top of the blue. And you can put it in a swirl or just straight down, however you want it to go. I just did this kind of in a quick little swirl. So y'all can see I have blue in there and gold in there. Woo, and I'm pouring it out. So you're gonna take the, um, and they recommend a solo cup for this y'all, but I just had this cup, so it is whatever works. So you're gonna turn it on its side. So here's the handy dandy handle your toothpicks and then the side, and you're just gonna kinda pour it on here. Sort of strategically. I don't know if y'all can see what's going on here. But I am getting a good pour on here and it is marbleizing as I go. And there is no rhyme or reason to this, y'all. It's just whatever you want. But I didn't want an orange pumpkin, so there you go. All right, so what I did was, I actually literally don't have enough pans. <laughs> so normally I had another pan over here and I just set it over here but I'm just gonna set it on this towel while I take this pan and pour it back into my cup. So I am 
not wasting any of the paint and I am still gonna use it. So I feel like I need more gold. So I'm gonna add gold to the paint that I just poured back in there. Hey, Miss Amy. I am late to volleyball, I gotta get. And then I'm gonna take it back over here to my um, pan and go back over any spots that didn't get uh, color. And I don't know if you can see the marbleized um, look that it's creating for me. This one did so much better because it's small, y'all, and it's just easier to get good coverage. So, um, this one was easier, which I'm glad so y'all could see. Let me put this up close so y'all can see exactly what this is turning out like. Hello. Here we go. I don't know what the best. There we go. Can you see the marbling? Give me some thumbs up, y'all. If you think this is a fun project, tag somebody or share it. Spread the love. So this is going to, um, I'm gonna turn my thing around. Hold on, sorry, hold on. Here we go, that's a better look. So you can kind of see. I've got now a navy pumpkin with gold um, marbling on it. This is a much better view, y'all. And this is the one I did a while ago. It's the bigger pumpkin. So when I'm bent on, I can see some pieces I missed right there. So it's okay, I can get to them. Hey, Miss Becky, how are you, my friend? So this is kind of just a different look. I picked two colors. You can pick two or three, whatever amount of colors you want. And it's just a fun technique just to kind of give it a little bit different uh, look for your Thanksgiving table, your fall decor. And y'all, I'm just gonna tell you. Navy is the new, ah! Navy is the new neutral and the new um, orange, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys have fun doing this project. I will show you the final product um, in the next couple days over the weekend when I have a chance to actually set the tablescape so you guys can see and see what I'm gonna do with these. Thank y'all, talk to you soon. It's hot out here, y'all. Bye.